Yeah, I'm on the stump box today. By the time this video reaches you, many of you will have set at a holiday gathering for many of you in the world, set around family members. I don't know how that experience was for you. For some, you, you dread the experience every year because you have to be around people who are toxic to you, people who don't seem to like you at all. And society teaches us that these people are uh, related to us. And so, therefore, we must endure and deal with the bullshit, even when they're family members, right? Just because they're family members. That's why I'm on the stump box today. So I hope many of you for the past uh, Thanksgiving, I hope you enjoyed your uh, meals. And I hope that you're all nice and full and you got some workout plans coming up in the next yeah, because you're, you know, you stuff yourselves and you just, you know, you need to do something. So if you're going to do that, you're going to improve something. Kudos to you. But today I'm on the stump. And I'm on the stump to speak about one particular thing that's involving how I even came to start this video. You know, based on the experiences that many of you may have had over this, this past uh, Thanksgiving, right? I have a question. You know, today I want to stump about validation, but I want to ask specifically to you folks out there and we'll, we'll start from there. The question, who put the V in validation? You know, because that V stands for value. Who put the value in the aspect or concept of validation? We put it there. It's the, it's, the, it's the correct answer. Now, for many of you who endured a very painful holiday, it wasn't because the food was bad or the music was bad. And, you know, many of you are, you know, introverted and you probably don't like to be around large gatherings of people. We understand that. But a lot of your discomfort, right, and your... uh Ability to feel that uncomfortableness came from the people you were around during the holiday season. That could be your parents. That could be your uncles and aunts. That could be grandmother, grandfather. You get what I'm saying, right? A lot of these people in your lives. A lot of these people in your lives, you know, affect you in this way every season every every season you get depressed and there's gloom and doom because you know you're going to have to deal with these fucking people and you just don't know what to do who put the v who put it there and that's the value v who put that value v in validation those people themselves suffered in their lives when they were young right Grandma, someone did something to them, you know, made them feel uncomfortable, talked down to them, didn't accept them, was never warm to them, never had a kind word for them. And it affected them mentally. And so they grew up and they repeated the cycle. And so now you are experiencing that or you may be the ones uh, delivering that same low level, low functioning behavior uh, to your children. And they'll turn on and, and do the same thing down the line. This is how it works. You have to start by understanding that you are someone. And that's where we stop this pattern of dysfunction. You have to realize that you are, in fact, a person. You have value. That's their V again. You have personal value. The value is not a sign based on how someone else perceives you. And that's where these people are always thinking. That's the framing of mind that they're always in. Right? And so they don't learn how to love properly. They don't. And what you get as a result is a, a displeasurable experience or something that's less than, than exciting when you see these people at the holiday table and you haven't seen them in a while. You dread seeing them. You should want to see them, right? Because these are your family members. Now, a viewer a short while ago 
gave me a response to one of my videos and they said that, you know, sometimes you have to cut your family members off. And that's very true. And I agree. And there's a video that I have coming that will address such as uh, address address that topic. Excuse me. Um, Because it's really cold out here, too, guys. But, you know, address that topic. And, you know, and sometimes your family, you do have to disconnect. Is what I'm saying. You do have to disconnect from your family members because they're people and toxic people, you know, in the long run are just going to wear you down. You're going to, you know, be, in, you know, in a, in, a, in a worse state fucking with toxic people. So you just it doesn't really matter if they're family members, you know, but we'll address that at another time. But what I'm saying is for you people who have to deal with these people, the validation comes from within themselves. Because they don't feel like they have any value. And so they have to tell you that's what I'm saying. To, to sum this up. That V. That V. That V is for validation. But you can self-validate. Is the point. The bigger point. Because this is about how you felt during this season. This past Thanksgiving dinner. Right? You felt alone. You were in a, you were in a company of many people. But you felt alone. You sat, you know, you sat there and, you know, you just weren't a part of everything that was going on. You were physically there, but consciously you were somewhere else and you didn't feel like you belong. These are for you people. You are someone. There's nothing strange about you, right? It's not you, it's them. Remember, go back and check that video out. You know, because because. Once you realize how much value you actually have, you can really greatly contribute to the rest of the world and the world can follow your example and learn something, you know? So if you felt uncomfortable, you know, I mean, obviously, you know, culturally and, and you know, in a norm, we're going to meet up with our family members on a, on a Thanksgiving or a Christmas or something. We're going to do something on these holidays, right? We're going to see people. We're going to gather. But the reasons why you don't feel like you belong are not necessarily your own fault. And it's not necessarily a problem in general because maybe you've had experiences. These are the people who have given you these experiences in some cases. And because they're dysfunctional, they haven't dealt with what they've done or come to reckon or take responsibility for their actions. And so therefore, you know, it's, like, it's more of a get over it type of thing that you have to express and deal with. And that's why you're sitting there alone in the midst of many people at a family gathering. Right? You were sitting there. You know? But, but you don't have to feel alone. Knowing your heart that you have value, that these people who have torn you down, they all share in this facade of, of trying to uplift each other superficially. Right. They live in glass houses. And all of this time you were just cultivating your own selves and making yourself stronger and building yourselves up because you will, in fact, show and display that V, that value that I talked about earlier. You will display that. You'll put that V. In validation because you'll validate yourselves. You don't need other people to validate you. I would love to have believed that everyone in the world who participated in a Thanksgiving dinner or a gathering of some sort, maybe not Thanksgiving, but whatever you did with your family. I would hope that you had a great time. I would hope that there's there's some real love there. But in a lot of cases, we see that because we ourselves personally are dysfunctional people and there's something wrong that we have to fix within ourselves. We don't have the ability to extend ourselves in a healthy way to our family members to make them in turn give us what we need and then we all can be happy, right? We all can feel warmth and love. You know, it's simple psychology. But a lot of you people are not willing or reckoning with yourselves or wanting to even look into yourselves. So you'll be that uncle at the table and you'll be that, that chider, you know, about who didn't get good grades in, you know, in, in, you know, in high school or who didn't, who's not doing the right career move with their life or who got pregnant too early or whoever, whatever you're doing in, at these gatherings, 
that's not fostering an atmosphere of love and connection. It's only just tearing you guys down because you yourselves feel that you have low value. And so therefore realize that you as a human person, conscious soul are only tearing that other person down for the means of your own validation. That V, you know, for those people out there, like I said, don't let other people define your terms in life and, and, and how far you can go and what you want to be. Don't let people dictate that for you because it's only housed in their fear of you becoming greater than them or their own invalidation, which is what they really loathe. So, yeah, I hate to stomp on that because a lot of these behaviors at the core are how bigger things become affected, right? When you're a broken vessel of a person, right, and you go on and you become someone in higher society, you may, you may affect the laws or some policies or whatever you're doing in life, and you're a broken person already when you start that. We don't know that. We only seen the outer shell of who you are want us to see but in reality if you're broken a lot of your 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 decisions that may affect other people or the or the things that we in society do in general the actions that we take because we're hurting we want to go harm someone else so we want to make the world feel our pain these are the dysfunctional things that are all relative to you Because you don't understand that you have the value. The validation is already there. Just seek it out within your own selves. And that's what I want y'all to get today. You know, that was the main, you know, component of how I wanted to reach you guys. I love bad behavior, people. But I also love when I don't have to feel like I need someone's validation. I never do. I never have had to. But there are people in life who do things for the purpose of being, uh, of being valued by people around them who don't even have any core values themselves. These people may get you locked up. These people may get you in all types of things in your life that can get you harmed because they're displaced and they're dysfunctional and you're following it's the blind leading the blind you get it if you want to leave a comment you can leave one below you know i appreciate you liking videos and also sharing them and uh i hope you guys you know by the time you're seeing this like i said i hope you enjoyed your thanksgiving and I want you to think about that. Next go around. We got we have another holiday coming up. And so the next time you're around the table with your family members, think about the fact of how you would feel if someone tried to devalue you because you know that you have self-value. You know, that's all that it requires, realizing your own self-value, and then you can effectively see the value in other people. So we talk again, folks. Y'all have a great day. I'm going to try to stay warm. And uh, you do the same. Y'all take care.